channel i know it's been a while if you're new to my channel please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a video so i did a thing today. and um well not today i did a thing friday and i did a vegan pot roast so um first i'm gonna open up this little package i got i ordered um Better Than Bullion has a new product. They have a new Bullion. And I ordered it. I found it on Amazon for like $14. But child, if you go to the website, you can get two on for just that one price. All you got to do is pay the shipping and handling and you good. Because I ain't finna pay no $14 damn dollars for one Little job better than bullion. Okay. So. Dang. They got this thing. They got cardboard in the cardboard. Okay. They got it packaged up like this. It is. Oh my God. I'm so excited about this. Hold up. Sauteed onion. <laughs> so, what we finna do is make something with this real quick, okay? So, um, I did have a video request. I had planned on um, doing last week. However, I didn't get a chance to do it. So, that's what we're gonna do right now. So, I want you guys to take a look at these two little clips of my vegan pot roast. And then we'll just get on with this recipe. <laughs> everybody here I have three and a half cups of water and to that I'm adding three and a half teaspoons of the sauteed onion um, veggie base um, so you want to add a, a teaspoon to every cup of water so now I'm about to add a uh, cap full of apple cider vinegar. That's apple cider vinegar with the mother. That's the best to use. You just need one cap full. And also to that, I'm about to add some coconut aminos. You can use regular liquid aminos if you want by um, Bragg's. But I was just trying this out to see how I like it. And it actually was not so bad. It's actually pretty good. 
so this is a um, broth powder I actually really like using. This is the beef flavor. I'm going to put about, um, about, a, about a tablespoon of that in there. You want to stir that up until it's dissolved. You don't want any lumps in there. Now, I forgot to put um, the cap and a half of liquid smoke. So I added that later. Here I'm adding some uh, grapeseed oil, um, bell peppers and onions to my skillet. And those are hot pepper flakes. That would be garlic powder, cumin, and dark chili powder. Um, you don't have to use dark chili powder, but um, that's what I bought. I wanted to try that. Got that from BJ's. That's TVP. That is actually two cups of TVP. And you want to double up um, on the broth. Now, the only reason I put three and a half cups in there is because I knew it was gonna, you know, you want to leave space to, for it to rise up. That is dried onions. I like the flavor of the dried onions with the, you know, regular onions. That I'm put, putting the broth in there. You want to put it in there a little at a time, and as it dissolves, you can add more to it. That's gonna make the TVP softer. Um, and the apple cider vinegar actually takes the soy taste out of it um now the water you want to do one part tvp two parts of broth not water unless you choose to do water um you can also add browning um sauce to it if you want it to have that look as if it is ground beef i just you know don't have any <laughs> um that is tofu cream cheese it's not it doesn't have much of a you know bold taste but it does taste good if you want a bolder more cheesier uh taste and you want to go with the dia plain cream cheese so you're going to stir that up until it is completely combined and you know just Turn it off <laughs> after you stir it all up. So there it is all mixed up. It kind of looked like ground chicken or something. Or turkey or, you know, well, it looks like it. So now you want to take that out once you have it stirred up. You want to take it out. You want to set it aside to cool. And once it cools, um, it's going to look like that. It's going to, you know, thicken up. Okay, so there are my wontons. Oh, uh, wonton wrappers. Now, um, this is where I made the mistake at. I left it in here on purpose so you guys can see, like, what not to do. Like, <laughs> I used that damn wooden spoon. And it's too much filling in it. That little neon bowl, that's water in there. I'm going to put that um, on the sides of it, and you know, to help seal it up. But that bad boy is going to be bust open on the side because <laughs> it's too much feeling. I'm trying to put, put that thing. <laughs> put that thing together. It's too much. See how it's popping open? Too much feeling. It was still good as hell, though. See, getting rid of that dag on spoon. Y'all, I don't know what is up. 
with that part of it. So, you know, just please excuse this. I've been working on this video for about three, four days now, y'all. So, you see the little spoon I got now. That's still going to be a little too much. But, you know, that's still left it in there. <laughs> See, I'm trying to... Dang, my hand's fat, y'all. <laughs> my chunky hand. See, it's still bust open. So, that was my second try. It was a little better than that first one, though. Now, this is where I actually got it right. <laughs> You don't want to overfill it. There we go. See, that looks so much better, don't it? Them other two was just, it was too much. Okay, so I got those. I'm, you know, getting ready to put those in the air fryer. Now, I put those in the air fryer and I can only get like four in there. So I just, you know, rearranged them and, you know, um, until I got to where I can put at least eight. And I just lined them up, you know, like where the little squares at in, in the uh, air fryer. I shaped them out like squares and then I just put them beside each other and I just cooked them like that. You want to do five minutes on one side. Um, when it go off, turn it over, do five minutes on the other side and it's going to look like that. So if you try this recipe, let me know what you think. Tag me on your Instagram. Um, you know, so I can see what you did. Tweak it a little bit, you know, make it do what it do. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on all my social media. You can also go like and follow my Facebook page, The Vegan Homeschooler. Be sure to join my group, The Vegan Homeschooler, Journey to Good Health. There, we focus on mental health as well as physical health. If you're new to my channel and would like to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Thank y'all so much for your support. I love y'all to the moon and back. Have a blessed day. Peace. Peace.